I want to use Kramer's method to solve the simultaneous equation. Now Kramer, uh, Gabriel K Kramer was a Swiss mathematician and uh, he gave this formula. So first, uh, let me write the formula that he gave. He said, well, if you have a system of equation like this, uh, with two unknowns, you can find x by finding dx over d, where dx is the determinant uh, of x, and d is stands for determinant. I'll explain what this means, and this y you can find by dy, dy over d. It's a ratio of dx over d, and y you can find uh, as a ratio of dy over d. Now, let me write this as a matrix. Okay, now what is a matrix? Matrix is numbers written in an order. Say here the numbers that you can see is 2, 4, 10. So this is called a row of numbers. And the next row that you can see is 2, 5, negative 2, negative 23. This is a matrix. This is a matrix. Uh, by convention, uh, when you're writing matrix, you count how many rows and how many columns. You've got two rows and three columns. So you can, this is how you write a matrix of two by three. This is a matrix of two by three. Two rows, two rows and three columns. Okay, now from matrix, we're going to find the determinant. So let me write first D. The determinant D is you write with a line. Determinant D is the numbers associated with x and y. So you write 2, 4, and 5, negative 2. So this is not determinant yet. This is uh, in a vector form. Okay. So determinant of, we want to find the determinant of this. So dx, you write like this. You don't write the coefficient of x, you leave that blank and you write the coefficient of y which is 4, negative 2. And in place of the coefficient of x, you write the constant which is 10, comma, negative 23. You'll not understand what I'm doing now, but just you have to go through the motion. So dy is equal to the determinant of you don't write the co uh, coefficients of y, you write the coefficient of x where it is, that is 2, 5. And in place of y, you write the constant, 10, comma, negative 23. This is how you write the determ uh, uh, to find the determinant, you write like this. So let me go over this again. So what we did is 2, 5, 2, 5, 4, negative 2. That is a determinant which will come in the denominator. dx is, you don't write the coefficient of x. You leave it blank and you write the coefficient of y which is 4, negative 2. And in place of the coefficient of x, you write the constant 10, negative 23. And for dy, you write the coefficient of x and you don't write the coefficient of y. In place of coefficient of y, you write the constant. And this is how you find the determinant. This is some algorithm you need to remember. You multiply like this. You multiply this two, and then you take away the product of this two. So let me write like this. So this is two times negative two. Take away five times four. Okay, so let me simplify this. So this is how much? This is negative four, take away 20 which is minus 24. So the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix, you can say is minus 24, negative 24. Okay, so let me do the working for dx would be, again, cross multiply like this, take away this product. So 10 times, so let me write like this, 10 times negative 2, take away uh, negative 23 times 4. Negative 23 times 4. So let's work this out. So this is how much? This is minus 20 
plus so 23 times 4 is 92 am i right so this is so you can say dx is 72 is plus 72 okay and finally dy you would do the same process cross multiply this to you multiply take away this two so this is two times negative 23 take away 5 times 10 so this is minus 46 minus 50 so your dy determinant of y is minus 96 the process is initially uh, tedious if you do one mistake the whole thing will be wrong so let's use the formula so dx x would be dx over d what is dx that's negative 24 over uh, dx is not negative 24 so you have to be careful dx is 72 72 over negative 24 so this goes 12 goes in 72 how many times six times 12 goes in this uh, minus two times and so your final answer is negative three so you come from this answer and this would be dy that is minus 96 over minus 24 so this minus and minus becomes plus 12 goes in 96 eight times two goes in ones two goes in four so the your y is four so your x, we can say x is, so you can write the solution like this. Your solution is negative 3, comma, 4. So this is your solution. Now just to show you how the calculator works is based on determinants. Okay, that's why this is very useful later on. Those who want to do math later on, uh, that's how calculator works the equation if you go to simultaneous and if you type in 2 so this is a system of two linear equation so this is 2 4 and can you see this is a matrix 10 and the second row is 5 negative 2 and negative 23 and then if you go to solve this is how you write x is negative 3 and y is negative, uh, sorry, 4. And you can also put this back and check whether the answer makes sense. If you, so let's check in one of the, if you put it here, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 16 is equal to 10. How did we get 16? 4 times 4 is 16. So if you put it here, so 5 times negative 3 is negative 15, negative 15 minus 8 is minus 23. So both these equations satisfy. 